I'd like to show you an application of the if statement. We looked at an example in our previous video which introduced how the if statement works. Let's make a, let's just run through a quick refresher. The if statement takes on the function if followed by the test. The second argument would be the then value assuming that the test is right. And the last argument would be the otherwise value, assuming that the test is not right or wrong. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. Let's say you're a club officer or you're a class mom. You are anybody who needs to track down data. And let's just assume for now that you're part of this club and you need to collect information on everybody's shirt size and whether or not they paid for their club shirt. So let's just assume that everybody wrote down their names with their sizes and also specified whether or not they paid for the shirt. How can we use this if statement? Well, here's an example. Let's say for payment notes, we want to indicate in text whether they paid or owe money. We can specify that using an if statement. If their paid column equals yes, then please write down paid. If it's not, please write down owes money. So when we think through this and we look down and say if E2, which is right here and it says Y, which it is, that's true, then we should expect the cell F2 to state the word paid. And so there you have it. So the great thing is now we have a, a formula that's already been set up. And if you have a whole list of data here, you can simply copy this formula, paste it against the entire range for which you want data to be pasted in, edit, paste special because we want to paste the formula. So now you have this column of payment notes that's already been set up based on the simple formula, the if function. Thanks so much for listening. I'll see you next time.